Oh, DJ, put a nigga back to the record, baby, and give me this right now. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome uh, to uh, the next part of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds campaign. It appears the final duel of the Steiner War is upon us, in Signs of Doom. The Signers had failed to defeat all the Dark Signers before its sunset, and the King of the Netherworld arose. You say and the other Signers were transported by the Crimson Dragon to Rex Goodwin's location. Isn't this the temple under Goodwin's mansion? The King of the Netherworld is heading this way, but what for? I don't know. In that case, allow me to explain. You may have succeeded in defeating the Dark Signers, but not in time to close the doors to the Netherworld. The King of the Netherworld is coming here for the ritual. What ritual? The ritual that has been carried out at this temple for many millennia. The ritual duel will allow me to become all-powerful and rule the world. I will crush you signers and send you all into the netherworld. In turn, the king of the netherworld will do my bidding and my ultimate plan will at last be set in motion. Now then, will you agree to this duel or will you not? Sure. If beating you means that monster goes bye-bye. <laughs> Sounds fair to me, but you wretched signers are the ones who will be getting the beating. We'll see. Let's do this. As always, first ch uh, first time with the uh, character deck, second time with the uh, player deck. Now, in case you don't know, um, Rex Goodwin basically was also the fifth signer. That's why he never showed up in the uh, duels. But that form was what he looked like when he combined, when he allowed himself to be taken over by the darkness, but also combined with the, um, um, what is it? The dark center with the dragon's head. First off, let's clear the field here, good one. Oracle of the Sun, huh? Other than Max Warrior, I have no, uh... Abil I have no... Aw, oh, come on, what the... If your opponent controls a monster, and you control the monster, you can special summon. You can... Wait, what? I don't get how it had two, uh, 2,000. Okay, he got a, uh, fire and uh, escator to his hand. And that's a, and that attack with Max Warrior is all I can do for this turn. So most of his deck is basically, uh, Aztec cards. Let's see. I'll play one card face down the fence mode and end my turn. About to get a uh, yep. Ooh, Sun Dragon Entei. That's not good. And none of these are tuner cards, so I can't really use them. Destroy the monster that destroyed this card, and if you do, 
Okay, so basically, that card would not only destroy the monster that destroyed it, and I but I take damage. Well, oh, there's that plan. I think he wants me to destroy that card. Mm. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. A special summon him. Two and five makes seven. To bring forth Junk Archer. Oh, it, it can attack the turn it does that. Okay, cool. In that case, let's banish this. Destruction Potion. Yep, I know. Yep, I kind of figured. Three and what? Three and five, that's eight. Another sun dragon? Monsters. Okay, my shield warrior doesn't say once per turn. Eh, nothing I can do. I think he's got me. Yep, he got me. know just the deck to use. See, now I, I, I actually might win if I play my cards right. If I can get a certain setup of cards, my, my Fiend deck should be able to get me through this. Monsters on the field, fiend types, Rex. I think I know what I want to do. I'm gonna summon Goblin King in attack mode, give him the Sword of Dark Seated. Making his attack power 2,500. So you get that back to- oh, you get that summon a defense mode. Okay, well, I still keep my bonus, so... Not very good, were ya? Let's go ahead and get uh, some light going here. I'll play one card face down and destroy the tricky. See, the thing is, I think I think what I can do is if I can get my dark ruler hideous on the field, then monsters like that uh, 
like that shining angel will not get their effects. Well, at least I can also burn him for life points. I figured that's what he was going for. Let's activate Coffin Cellar. Now, anytime a monster of his ascends to the graveyard, he loses life points. and give uh, Goblin King uh, more power. That was one card I was hoping would not be it. Well, at least I can do some damage. Yep, another fire ant. That means more than likely he's gonna go for another, uh... Another, uh, sun dragon ente. Ante. You wouldn't happen to have an earthbound immortal in your hand, would you? Let's go ahead and give up my dark effigy to summon summon skull. I know what you're thinking. I'm not attacking Sun Dragon and Tame. Not with uh not with Goblin King. That's cool. Cause the more because now I really don't have to worry about too much. You keep losing life points, good one. You, the more you send monsters to the graveyard, the more I'm gonna get. The more closer to a victory I'm gonna get, man. I just have to send one monster to the graveyard, and then force you to send another. Told you. <laughs> She sent his Earthbound Immortal to the graveyard? And he lost! Oh wow! After the battle with Rex Goodwin, the signers summoned the Crimson Dragon and destroyed the King of the Underworld. You say awoke in a strange location. Where am I? Goodwin, is that really you? Not just me. Hello, brother. I'm so happy to see you again. It feels as though it's been an eternity. Indeed. Where are we? In between the light and the darkness, you say. A place of peace. And it's all thanks to you. The bonds we form really are all that matters in life. You say, take care. Now if you'll excuse us, my brother and I have some catching up to do. That was really cool of you, you say. Let's see, the next dual uh, French twist is set up. Ready for me to go. Uh, reverse dual sides of doom. Rex Goodwin's uh, avatar. His immortal. We, uh, we're a uh, what? We're a we're a Kush, Kusha, whatever. I've never been good at pronouncing most of the Earth by immortal names. Um, Yang Zing. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Oriskaraka. Or, uh, Araka, Araka, Chaliska, Rat, Raska, or whatever. I'm gonna have to watch the anime to learn that um that uh pronunciation. <laughs> ah well, time to hit the card shop. 
And let's see, who's got the least, least amount of cards for me? Well, it's a tie between Jack and Trudge. So, oh no, 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 I was, I was wrong. Leo and Luna got to give up two packs. Oh, another more, another uh, more. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Give Matt a more tonic card. And oh nope. Okay. Uh, Jack, please let me get let me get the let me get at least one of that card. I'm looking for an ultimate baseball kid, Jack, and you have it. Jack! You're supposed to have the card I want! Ah, well. That was the duel, uh, the final signer duel. Um, next week, we start a new storyline. What is it? Well, we'll only know in French Twist. If you enjoyed the episode, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications by ringing that bell, and share the video around as it does help grow my channel and I'd be greatly appreciative of it. If you need more gaming content, feel free to check out the video in the two play listening end screen. If you, need, if you need more gaming content after that, feel free to check out my channel where I upload gaming videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Till next time, everybody. See you later. Hey guys, I'm glad you liked the show. Please come back next time for more. See ya.